Eure Kurve. Okay, so yes, uh, welcome everyone to the first uh, verify and release UX milestone kickoff meeting. As we've been discussing in our team meetings, uh, we have transformed every force uh, design review meeting into the release kickoff as the possibility for us to uh, catch up as the team uh, and see what is happening in the stage groups and to align on some of the work that we are planning to do in our product teams. Um, for that, um, uh, in the meeting invite, you can see the link to the UX uh, board that actually I have transformed into verify um, and release UX. Um, um, well, board, sorry for the re repetition. Um, Hayana, I think I, uh, the, there was previously the one that you mentioned you created for the CI CD team long time ago. And I think we chatted that uh, that wasn't really used. Um, so I, yeah, dated a few things, just changed the participants uh, to be uh, uh, to the current team members and change the titles. Mm, so the only thing it does, it right now filters for the UX um, labeled issue and for our participant uh, that are currently in the verify and release uh, UX team. It does not filter uh, on the milestone, so uh, but we could add that filters if we want. Um, so I think the goal that we've been discussing earlier would be just to use this board. Um, and I actually want to focus on multiple things. Would be nice to see um, how accurate the data is on the board. I would be curious to uh, give each of us a time right now to kind of like go through the column and see, are we missing anything? Or do we see anything weird? Because again, I need you to kind of like help me validate that. And second of all, yeah, maybe uh, um, provide a quick walkthrough um, by every uh, stage group and see what exciting is happening in the stage groups and maybe what are possible dependencies or collaboration that we will uh, need between ourselves. How does that sound? Any questions, any additions maybe? Did I miss anything? I would, uh, the only thing that's on my, like what I was wondering about is so the intention here is to go over work we're actively working on right now. Um, so we're like, are we intending to filter on not by milestone on purpose? So are we filtering on the workflow labels or are we gonna filter on something else? Um, like I'm, I'm just, I just filtered for myself here on 13 of L and it's like, hey, I need to, you know, shuffle some things around or add myself through some issues. Which I thought I already did, but perhaps I'm like I think I'm tracking that differently currently. Um, but um, I mean, sitting the nose just around the corner, so maybe it's like the one beyond that already um, that we want to look. At. That's a great point and a great question. I know that we have uh, asked that in the past. We didn't really provide an answer. I'm curious what uh, what do you think? It sounds like the one that we are actually as the designers working on that would be more helpful. Um, Hayan, I see you're posting something. Uh, I just created an agenda doc. I'm going to take some Thank notes you. so that we can uh, remember okay. um, if there's any action items. What do you think, Hayana, on what uh, milestone should we be looking at? Or uh, we maybe should just be able to give it a try and see what? Yeah, um, it's quite tricky. I think it makes sense for the things to highlight the things that we are working on right now, of course and the upcoming ones um but it's to me at least it's becoming more and more um the milestones are becoming more and more fluid i'm working on things that are in the backlog that i'm not prioritizing against the development uh, uh deadline but i'm just working on things that belong to a broader epic or a broader team so it kind of doesn't answer the question uh but it's also uh this this uh this idea of, yeah, it would be nice to know the active items that we have and see if there is uh, anything that we have to share, but without only looking at the milestones, that's pretty much what's in my head. Yeah, maybe we could give that a try and then see, um, you know, like basically where we end up. Let's, let's take this session as a, as a pilot as the testing session and let's see, yeah, how much value it will bring and how we will need to change it uh, or adapt uh, or uh, you know like kind of like transform the conversation 
So maybe we could just like see. I basically, I will uh, let's uh, let's give a stage to everyone um, of uh, of us, and let's see kind of like how relevant to each um, uh, stage group the issues that are there in the board will be. Because I I know and I understand that we all work in a different way. Somebody uses milestones, somebody uses more like Kanban style, and uh, yeah, let's just give it a go and see where we end up. Yeah. So yeah, Kayana, I'll just then give it over to you because uh, at least I see your name first uh, on the board. Would you like just to kind of like brainstorm yeah. with us? Feel free to share your screen if I'll that's helpful. Let me just update because I just realized that it only sh shows the UX board, but I have issues that are not UX. So I'm just adding the label for reference. Uh, can you see? I think so. Uh, let me mute. Oh, sorry, muted. Uh, cool, I just added. Uh, an issue here. Uh, okay, okay. So it's a mess. When I look at it, I'm like, I don't even understand <laughs> what are the things that are assigned to me because I don't look at those issues like this. Uh, so I'm going to filter by milestone because I think for now that's what's going to give you an idea of what is going to be implemented, implemented on 13.0 um, that I designed. So those issues are not active, those are all in review in dev. So UX is ready. Um, so the first one is to allow uh, a release milestones to be added to the release page through the UI. So this is, belongs to like a bigger effort to make all the API attributes um, around generation of releases be available in the UI. So this probably, yeah, miss 12.0. So it's a, a leftover. Um, and also another small issue that comes from development and a small copy. So when I look at this, it looks like I'm not doing anything <laughs> for 13.0. <laughs> that was already like my first concern, like the board's not gonna reflect anything. So um, let's see. Why is that? Is it like missing something or just like the way the labels are working? Um, this is it's actually- because my things are not labeled. My things are all here in the backlog. So for example, my priorities are those issues that mm -hmm. one is 13.3, which is the target like delivery and all those, I'm just working on them. We haven't scheduled them yet. That's why I say the milestones are not gonna reflect um, what I'm doing right now. Um, so if I look at, for example, this one here, uh, it's dashboard. Da, da. So, Hayana, when are you and Jackie going to work on just putting the milestone labels on those? We only when the developers can schedule the implementation when they have capacity. So, ah, okay. We, I know, yeah, I know that the milestone is the delivery, right, for the release post for it to be in the product. So, when I work on them and I say UX is ready, they move mm -hmm. from the planning board to the dev board. That's okay. How it works for me. Um, Okay, Nadia, help me. <laughs> Sorry, I was taking notes. Uh, so, um, I'm actually, my first question. Uh, the, so, right now, you, I see like uh, uh, your column is being the biggest. Uh, what is the? Uh, how do you think uh, GitLab takes this priority? Like, how does GitLab show? Why is the first one? Is the first, the second? Is the second? You know, kind of like how does the GitLab shows um, the order of the issues? Is it relevant in any way, Mesa? This it issue. doesn't, does it? Because you can drag and drop them, can't you, in yeah. any order you want? So I don't know what the default is. There, there is a priority. It's by milestone. So let me share again my screen. Yeah. So the first one on the top of the list is probably assigned to 13.0. So yeah, it's about uh, the delivery or the, the, the end date. Uh, yeah, due date. So in this case, it's the milestone. So if I go to whatever this one, I'm assuming it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See? So probably the second one, it's also 13.1 or 13.0. You can put like, um, what was it like headers or like something in there. So Sarah changed, we have a board for our stuff and it's basically like a kind of a Kanban board and we have little headers in our column of like to do, doing, done, backlog. And so we can just drag the tiles into the sections that we need. 
them to be in. I don't know how she did that. Hmm. But the thing is that if you change the, you, you're saying like the name in the title, right? Something? It's not that you change the actual title of the thing. I'm trying to find it. Oh, it's too many windows. Here it is. Um, let me show you. Do, 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 verify this way. So it's not that you should change the title of the issue. It's like you have this. It's like a placeholder issue, maybe it looks like oh, yeah. she did. So we can just move these anywhere we want under the doing. And then we have like a to do and then blocked and backlog. So there, it's kind of like individual Kanban boards there. I don't know. Just an idea. I don't think it interferes with anything, but I don't, I don't know how boards work. So <laughs> it also looks like she created a separate board for us. So there's that. Yeah. So it sounds like then you are doing kind of like additional grooming on this board. Mm. Not really. I mean, when things get closed, it goes away. I noticed that. <laughs> Um, so if somebody comes in or if I close this doing something else, it, it disappears from my column. It just goes, I don't know where it goes, but it goes away from here. Cause it's not an open, maybe active. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm showing my ignorance of how our actual program works. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, so that there's that, but otherwise no, like we can, we can drag them. So I guess we're grooming in that sense because there's no other status that will move them for us because these look to be like placement issues that she created as to be used as like column headers, if that makes any sense. But if the order, for example, let's say that uh, you have this issue, user research for post deployment, blah, blah, blah. Um, mm -hmm. If this got reordered in a different board, it affects this board as well, right? I don't think so. I think it because is. Because I'm the one who's been putting them in my order of like what I'm working on. Because uh, when I used to, like with Audit and Jason, um, when they used to use like stack order to assign priority to issues, we always had yeah. problems. Because I remember order Ori had problems. People, yeah, people just move. So it might be that you're moving this in a development board or progressive delivery, for example. So that's oh. why. Uh-oh. <laughs> Dimitri, do you have any uh, inputs here? Like, do you know anything? Uh, if you move the order here, does it influence something else? It, it is something I'm, to be honest, I'm, I'm myself, I'm also unclear about. I know that uh, Org is avoiding stack ranking uh, because of this particular problem not being clear and I would say it's such an invisible feature that I would not put too much faith in it, to be honest. The way we use it in uh, release management is that we have the Kanban boards. Let me show my screen. And then you have the things that are in the workflow and that are assigned to you, da, 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 like here. But then you also have the milestones uh, columns. So for example, I know that these are the things, priorities for 13.0 that are P1s. That's how I look at the board, when I look at the board. So yeah. everything that is labeled UX P1, it's a priority not only for myself, but also for the developers. But when I look at this or this, I'm like, I don't know what the priority is and I'm not gonna reorder because it might be that the priority changes you know, tomorrow or that something gets uh, kicked out of the milestone and I don't have an overview of which milestone something is going to to be implemented or, you know, so. Yeah, I, I've, I've gone ahead to fix this problem in my own way <laughs> as a little experiment by creating personal labels. I know that yeah. can be a bit, you know, le less label hygiene, but you've seen those labels around with DB up next, DB in progress, DB standby. Um, that kind of, if you would filter this board and label is DB in progress, you would see exactly what is kept in progress in my, personal issues, mm -hmm. regardless of milestone. Um, but yeah, this exactly to fix this issue because there's no other way that I can actually really depend on except for creating labels. Yeah, the way I use is that because the boards are, they belong, let's say to the PM or the EMs, I have my issue here. And then these are my priorities, although they are not labeled, but those are assigned to me and they're in my board. 
and then everything else that is on 12, 10, 13, or 13, 1, whatever, and merge requests, I take care of them, let's say, on the side because the boards, uh, yeah, and I also use this one. So the, the P ones for engineers that require UX support. So it's difficult to concentrate everything one view. And that's why, yeah, maybe we can add milestones, this and that, but each team with their PMs and EMs, they have a different, like a particular way to organize things. I think if we're gonna use something like this, for example, to say, yeah, Dimitri is working on this uh, DAG visualization, and I'm also working on something related to pipelines, whatever, then you can cross reference those things and have a conversation. But my opinion, just to look at it and see what I'm doing next, I cannot even tell you from this. It's very, it's, it's very complicated. <laughs> it's more than this. <laughs> I see. Yeah. It sounds like then, um, and uh, Juan, I'm curious to uh, give you uh, the, the possibility to uh, give your perspective, but by what uh, you, Hayan and Dimitri are saying, it sounds like maybe we should not, For if we ever, um, to continue with these meetings, maybe we should be using uh, each of our own ways to show the priorities, to show the work. For example, Hayan, you have the issue, Dimitri, you have the board with your own, um, uh, label so maybe you know while we are presenting I can see us also you each of one of us using our own uh, boards or issues to like just because the goal here is to align right it's not necessarily to uh, utilize that board that we created if that's not gonna not really gonna work I don't know what you guys think yeah, and then maybe if we are using like this board or whatever other tools or assets maybe we should just list the issues that we're going to be working on in the document for example the agenda doc or something and say that yeah those are my issues and those are the topics or this overlaps with verify yeah, for like a one-time like create an agenda for the items that is to be discussed it's going to be very clear we have a common document which we can comment in right in. yeah I, I i see that as a because we're all working so differently currently and there might be some consistency later in the future but for now i think that is like a you know a, a, an in-between solution a boring solution i i was gonna say that i agree i mean i don't think everyone needs to present the same way i think the board right now uh actually for me i'm, I'm not claiming this as a like canonical solution, but for me, it definitely matches a little bit of how I'm working on the things that I'm working. Of course, there's a lot of, uh, if I narrow down by milestone, then it's gonna get all messed up. But my issue hygiene right now, it's kind of basically based on having the UX label and then, which I, I know is weird what I'm gonna say, but having, in my mind what I'm working on, which I know. So I'm not expecting everyone to like have the issues that they're working on like very readily available in their brain. I do, I do know what I'm working on and what I'm gonna be working on on 13.0 and what's coming for me in 13.1. And with my teams, like for instance, with testing, we have been moving towards model where we actually have design issues before we have implementation issues. So and we are already, we are kind of like in a mixed situation because we have implementation issues that have design components or design uh, dependencies and design issues that are just design issues. Uh, but yeah, those are my thoughts. My thoughts is that I can totally use this board, but I'm okay with anyone uh, doing their thing and just aligning, which I think is the ultimate goal of this. So it sounds like the proposal from Hayana and Dimitri that some work for them is to have like a document for these sessions where we would be like listing the things that we are currently working on. Would you be, would everyone be okay to try that in the future if I would make such a document for us? And, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Because then we can just, for example, Dimitri uses, like Mike has his own board, Dimitri uses his own thing. We can just link this in the document and then just present or just share, you know, without having to copy paste like a list of issues somewhere else because I had this uh, I realized I had this problem <laughs> last week where I was updating my priorities into different places and that's counterintuitive so um, 
I just, it's, it's like how I thought about it is that we like just for this one time occasion in the dock, we do this like we copy the URLs and I don't like link. I got this Chrome extension which makes it really easy for me to copy all my tabs in my current window and paste it as one big block into a document. Then that does not become my single source of truth but it does allow us to have the discussion in that one single meeting we have in order to be able to say inside of the document per issue, we can say, hey, I'm interested in this issue. Uh, I think this could be very valuable and then paste like that. Because if we only link towards, you know, you link towards your issue, uh, I link towards my board, Juan links towards this other uh, list of assigned issues, um, then we cannot have that, you know, comments per issue kind of thing. What, or what were you thinking about that? Yeah, I see what you mean. So it's to make it more focused, right? And just to what the topics that we want to discuss. Yeah, because like what I what I see, what I feel is like we're going to present, and then it's like, oh shit, I need the link towards that issue that we just discussed, and we're already on to the next one. Mm -hmm. But yeah. You yeah. know, like we, we get that, it's become less actionable, I feel like. Yeah, I, I just uh, recall of my uh, my one-on-ones with uh, Jason, where he would just show me the board, and then I'm like trying to find the issues. Yes, let's avoid that pain. <laughs> okay. I take back what I said. <laughs> Wait, let, let, me, let, me, let me show you the, wait a second, manage expectations. Which one is it? All right. I put, paste it in the doc. Um, should we have a, something like the same as we do um, with with our agenda docs, where we say um, research issues or issues that are blocked and things like that, or I don't know, maybe we can try later and see what's, what structure, what, what are we trying to present, you know, so that everyone in a way, even though you're showing different issues, but you kind of meet the similar criteria, like next up or needs research or in progress validation, whatever. Yeah, uh, I think uh, grouping is always help, help me, helpful for like readability and also like viewing uh, somebody else's work because it's not usually very easy to understand what somebody else is doing. I think when it's kind of like structured by some type of, um, yeah, like label like that, you, uh, you research or I don't know, or design sprint or ideation or whatever, it's always more helpful to digest. And um, well, anyway, I really appreciate like everyone kind of like brainstorming um, as, as we go right now here. I think as with every other uh, meeting format, we will eventually come to a bit more uh, ideal as, uh, phase, but uh, I think these are great ideas just to like give it a go and see how this will work out. But to me, this sounds like a good proposal. I'll probably just like add um, a, a table or something uh, or like a format that we could reuse for every session uh, uh, as notes. And uh, I will place some columns like that. And of course, feel free to uh, uh, help me out with the uh, columns. I will let you know in the team chat when it's going to be. Dimitri, so you, I see that you just now uh, tested your extension, right? Yeah, it's just giving you like an example of like, hey, if I want to copy them over, I open the all my issues and, and I select them, then copy them, put them in a doc, then clean it up a little. It takes you 20 seconds. I think that is uh, kind of like a nice nice way to put it in, not put a lot of effort in. Thanks for sharing that. I think that's cool. Yeah. Should we um, take a stab at that? Sorry, Nandi. Should we take a no, stab at no. trying to share like some of the items, like following the board, yes or no, but just to Sure. Yeah, I think that, that I just wanted to suggest the same thing. Let's like try to do a little bit of a catch up here. Um, just uh, whatever we have today. Uh, yeah, uh, feel free to even like show your maybe I was thinking maybe um, everyone can um, use their own ways to track the work right now. Also, it's, it's useful to see uh, how different people are in different stage groups are tracking the work. Like, for example, 
uh, Hayana has one way, Dimitri has the other, Juana I'm sure has a third way. So maybe that would be also kind of useful to see or feel free to use the board that we've created, the one that has a lot of noise in it. Sounds good. You want to give it a go or should we uh, um, torture Dimitri or Juan for now? <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's give it a go. Whoever wants to go first, be tortured uh, first. I'll, I'll go first. Uh, all right. So I'll stick to the board, uh, which where we were using. Uh, unfortunately, I just lost it in a sea of tabs that I have open. So let me find it again. I'll share it also here in the chat. Okay. Uh, In the in the right. and uh, feel free to share your screen. Would you? Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Thanks, Juan. All right, can you guys see my screen? Yes. Okay. Uh, all right. So thirteen point oh. Uh, there's a lot of things going on right now. Uh, for both runner and testing. Uh, one big initiative that we're working on right now in runner is uh, runner is currently working on adding management capabilities to the group level runners. Um, and the reason why we're doing this is because we have a big client, uh, Bisaprint who's moving from uh, EE, from self-hosted to .com. And in that transition, part of the things that they were requiring was like, we need something to manage runners, the same way that we manage runners from the admin level at uh, self-hosted. So we came up with this solution, solution, which is basically creating things at the group level. Uh, so there's uh, there has been a lot of, design going on there, uh, also back and forth, reviewing MRs and whatnot. So that went for a little for a little while on 12.10 and it's gonna keep happening on 13.0. So that's a big item for 13.0. Um, uh, testing has a lot of things going on right now as well. There's uh, a a lot of low hanging fruit things that we are trying to do right now with MR widget. So we're shipping, uh, actually this one is somewhere here. We're shipping the accessibility merge request widget. Uh, so for instance, right now I have a review to do for this. Uh, there's probably gonna be a little bit of design iteration happening on this. Uh, this is an implementation, but there's also like a handful of things related to this, uh, which are, basically sign items that are happening for 13.1. Um, there's, so yeah, there's several like merge requests, uh, widget initiatives happening right now. Uh, we're working on 13.0 on, on those. Uh, there's also a couple of things that we're doing on visual review tool. So one thing that we're gonna do is that we're gonna allow to the visual review to tool to accept screenshots from the clipboard and that has a couple of like design uh, things that we gotta do i already did a mock-up for this but we might need to redo that because we're gonna be more M mvc for this uh this design code quality report source filter and search this was gonna be a design item for 13.0 uh, but we actually moved that to 13.1 uh, right now, but I'm still gonna work on 13.0. I think I have cycles spent on this. And it's basically in the code quality report, adding the ability to manipulate that better and find your errors. So working on that a little bit as well. Uh, this one is blocked, but we have a big initiative with graph code coverage right now. So we did, uh, we have a canvas ready that uh, we're working on it. I already did um, uh, kind of like user mapping session with uh, James about this. It went pretty well. So we're basically planning the MVC for this. I have to do more mockups for this. Uh, God, there's many things. There's 
one extra cool thing that I'm working on right now, this link to test reports from MR widget, that's a full feature. And I already wrote the code for this whole feature. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited about that because it's like the first time that I have done that. I actually wrote it from end to end. It's failing a bunch of pipelines. So uh, definitely already missed 12.10, but hopefully it makes it to 13.0. But yeah, I'm excited that I took that one. I was able to, to put it together. Uh, there's a lot of others, uh, but... Um, yeah, maybe it's the most important ones. And uh, just question while you're talking about the MR widgets, uh, did you resolve the dependency on the secure team? Uh, yeah, uh, that's a great question. So we are going to have another sync up for 13.0. I think uh, I think they're unblocked. Basically, the, the conclusion that we reached uh, was you do your thing, we do our thing, make sure that you tell us what you're doing so we're aware of that. And vice versa. So uh, I think that was kind of like the conclusion and blocking venue, you know, like let's simply uh, communicate to each other what we're doing. Uh, yeah, there's plenty, plenty of things to work on. There's probably things that I'm missing as well because I also have issues here that are not showing up like things on pajamas, uh, things that I'm doing as a trainee. Um, like usually, yeah, other stuff that I do sometimes just to help other people. But I guess that that was like a very crappy version of what I'm uh, of presenting my work. Oh, but it's the first one, so I promise that it will get better. <laughs> no, this is amazing. Thanks a lot. It's a good overview of what runner and testing are busy with in terms of functionalities. So again, if like the goal is to identify dependencies on each other or you know like something where uh, places where we could advise each other that's perfect so thanks a lot Juan for taking the first uh, uh, play here. Dimitri sure. do you want to uh, quickly uh, walk us through some of your stuff? Yeah I, I actually uh, I have uh, one comment towards uh, Juan's work. Uh, I put the uh, link into it into the document. It's about his first item. I was really f trying to get you know, like I have this one thing, where is it? But I finally found it. Uh, but there's this one uh, interview which I did with a customer, uh, NVIDIA, and they we thought that we're going to talk about public uh, pipeline dashboards, uh, which we didn't do in the end at all. Um, they wanted something very different. So, you know, there's that point of like their understanding of something and our understanding of something. Yeah. And basically what we, what we talked through was, you know, like how to visualize runners and their, their, their fleet of runners and they had some special things about that as well, but it might be very interesting yeah. to uh, go to, through that one. It's the eighth one. It's like... Yeah, I'm seeing it right now. No, it's just awesome. Uh, no, thank you very much. I'm just going to link this one to that issue. Thank you for sharing that. Um, and then I'll uh, quickly go through, let's see. Any Some other really like comments? Uh, that was good, uh, good uh, stop, Dimitri. Thanks a lot for mentioning that. Any other uh, comments that we want to uh, add to Juan's uh, points? Okay, Dimitri, back to you. Uh, let me see. Um, so same board, but I filtered it a little bit differently. So these are my in progress issues. These are not all, uh, I need to do a little bit cleaning up, but these are, these are some of the most important ones. Uh, so this is distributing daily cron schedules over the hour. This is a pretty uh, pretty weird issue. Um, interesting about this is that uh, our schedules have their uh, cron time set to a specific time. Everyone is selecting the presets, which allows uh, our uh, fleet of runners to spike on those set times. So it is more of like a 
uh, resolving a, you know an infrastructure issue, uh, but also providing a good experience towards the user and not you know um, making that a negative experience in any way. Um, not too much special there. Uh, just having a conversation. If you're interested, uh, you know, join in. Uh, join in. Uh, let me see. Come up with design for visualizing DAG. Uh, that is in full uh, effort. Uh, thank you, Rihanna, for the update you sent me. I have to get back into that um, as soon as possible. So we'll be today, tomorrow. We'll wait tomorrow because it's pretty late. Um, but uh, that is going well. I hope. I hope um, that uh, we're doing a little bit of a different progress there with front end and UX, both ideating towards an uh, agreeable and feasible concept instead of Im immediately going for something that's going to be merged into master um, because of the, uh, the nature of this kind of problem. But trying to get to a visualization with, a visualization with a reduced scope that can visualize the connections between um, DAG jobs for now, and um, there's it's, it's very complex but very visual issue. Um, it's it's very interesting to read into. This is I think now this is the design issue, so that would be the interesting one to do to go into. Um, let me see about deploy keys. If you're into deploy keys, I have to read this a little bit further into it. But um, this is more like there was something uh, needs to be looked into back. That's why I put it into my progress, though it is more into workflow refinement right now because it was already intended to be developed and then there was something wrong which we need to look into, but uh, that UX boarding is not important. And lastly, a B testing problem validation, which I'm working on a discussion guide uh, for the validation effort there. Um, not too much yet, but all help is welcome, especially for this one. Um, if you have any related items, you know, hey, I would like to find out this. Uh, we can easily put on some extra questions you might want to know into the discussion guide and uh, basically, you know, help out each other. Uh, so I would, I would say the A-B testing problem validation, maybe that is the one I would most welcome any contributions. Dimitri, I have an issue that relates to the Chrome um, ba -ba -ba schedules. Uh, I live here in the agenda doc. Um, mm -hmm. Let me send it to you as well. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is a deploy freezes. The UX is already done, and I think this one is scheduled to. Do, 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 do. This was supposed to be twelve ten, but I think yeah, thirteen dot two. Um, I'm going to read the, your issue description, but it's so interesting to see that you have um, in the UI the cron, uh, the schedules, right? Every day at 4 a.m. and every week, yes, yes. days 4 a.m., etc. And for us, our developers, um, they say that making this translation in the UI was too difficult. So I'm just going to, uh, maybe we can take this offline because we almost have no time. And look into it and say, okay, what can we reuse um, from whatever improvements you make? Because we already have in the pipeline schedules, right? Uh, this is pipeline schedules, I think. And uh, yeah, it's going yeah, to it's look- Yeah, problems there. And uh, there's a few solutions being discussed. I think one is the superior one, but it increases the scope of a quick fix to, you know, like a, a properly doing it. Uh, but there's some in-between solution as well, and uh, we have to yeah. finalize that, that, that discussion. I have yet to look into it today, so it's, uh, it's, it's up on my list um, where I left it before I went out of office. Um, yeah. But thanks for that issue. I will surely look into that. I'm gonna pick it, it, the by the way, it links towards a PNG, is that correct? It's the, yeah, it's the okay. design If you open it, it's the uh, Okay, got it. Yeah, design okay. <laughs> Awesome. Um, and uh, yeah, let me go again because I don't think I did it, I did it right. <laughs> uh, let me first open my, my issue here. Um, I have a bunch of things assigned to me, um, but my focus right now, it's on those four items. The first one is the, well, the category maturity scorecard that I'm actually not doing on this format. I have uh, a Google Doc and I'm writing 
everything about the, the scorecard for uh, release orchestration. So that's not very interesting uh, for this meeting. And the next big thing I uh, should be working on is the, like for sure that it's scheduled, is the director level CICD group dashboard that has a super weird name, but it's pretty much having the ability to see data about your project on a group level and that this will be interesting um, to these personas, risk manager, bias director, so very important people that want to know how the projects are doing, how their releases, mainly for now their releases, and we're focused on just a few uh, um, data points. So for example, the number of projects in your release and the latest release, how many, uh, uh, what percent of the project actually released, uh, the last five pipelines that passed, etc. cetera. Um, and I haven't started like any UX per se, any design deliverables in this issue. This has been going on, I think, for two milestones, for two reasons. The first one is that we want to make sure that we are reusing pajamas components or view components. And uh, the ones for data visualization that we have um, are not in a way complete. So um, uh, I need to look into what can we do or what can we reuse. Uh, and another thing is that we change the scope of this a couple of times to make sure that we are not, uh, you know, creating too many, um, too many opportunities to over commit, if that's uh, if that makes sense. Anyways, and I'm going to try to look at this now because it's 13.3, um, just to have an idea. Uh, of what components we would need, um, if we can reuse some UI, for example, from the environments dashboard, what it's a known bug, et cetera, et cetera. So not really like UX deliverables per se, as in ready to be implemented, but I'm going to be working on this dashboard on a group level. Um, that's one thing. And another thing I have here is the ability, it's like delete releases in the UI on the release page. I have the prototypes, but the prototypes are not here. So as I mentioned before, now, if you go to project overview releases, you have a button. My God, this was not here, guys. It has been uh, missing for years. So what we want is to allow users to, oops, not here, to after they create a release, add it, and then be able to delete this item. Right now, you can only delete through the API. Um, so not super exciting. I already have the mockups, so it's a small update. And the last one is identification of historical releases. So it's a lot of release, 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 um, which is the ability to, like when you change the, the release date for a release item, let's say that uh, was in the past, right? You create a release uh, last year, yesterday or whatever, but you want to change the release date to today for some reason. Uh, we have something uh, as called as historical release. We still need to figure out the name for that. Um, the same way as we have a coming release, right? A release in the past, but you can also create a release either in the past or move the date to current date or the future. So these are important for release evidence. Um, and again, this is already uh, like acceptance criteria proposal, not this, but prototypes are missing. So my items, as you can see, are super small because I already groomed uh, most of them. Uh, they are in the backlog or they are being scheduled for 13.3, 13.2, etc. So those are the, the things that I have pending. Um, and let me see if I can show you some of the UX issues here. Yeah. And the issues that I have in my pipeline now are all in depth. I don't have any UX open, but mostly reviewing uh, merge requests and that's my life. It's quite scary because it seems like I'm not doing a lot. So <laughs> wait a week <laughs> and then everything's gonna be a mess. Um, but yeah, my items are not super exciting, but I think I'm looking to what Dimitri has shown. Maybe some of the items that are ready, they are considered UX ready, they need to be revisited. So it might be a good uh, chance to have these conversations um, to make sure that the, the proposals are, are, are aligned. Yeah, that's that's it for me. I I'm also working on a 
So that graph code coverage that it's blocked, but it's not really blocked because what we're doing right now, it's uh, doing like discovery and kind of like we already did the canvas review and everything for that one. That one also also meant for like director level type of thing, you know, like people like, it's gonna be basically a graph where people can see code coverage and analyze how their coverage is changing through time. So they can like tell their executive team like, hey, our team is doing this well or not or whatever. So yeah, maybe let's think on that later because we probably also are gonna, we're, we're thinking in a very similar fashion about that. Well, sure, especially because code coverage is one of the criteria. Let me just reopen it here. I think it's one of the, the points that we want to add. Um, and I'm also, let me share with you the mock-up that Jackie put together that she already, she's already actually interviewing some of our customers and showing like a super weird, but useful yeah. mock-up. Um, and you can already get some insights there. Wait a minute. But yeah, we'll think on that. Um, because do you, it's already scheduled for you, Juan. Do you already know? Uh, yeah, you know? Uh, I mean, we don't have an implementation target yet, but we are working on it as in, I mean, we already had interviews because this already got, this is already problem validated. I think we're on the process of basically coming up with the solution. So mm. uh, okay. I don't know if what you're right now, it's like a problem validation still. Yeah, it's from validation and uh, let me add this to the document here. Where is my notes? Da, da, da. Uh, this is from validation. And there, here are the customer interviews. Those two. The first one is the, yeah, the low fidelity prototypes and the second one. Um, just so you know, some of the, some of these, uh, um, this information, customer information cannot be shared, so don't share your screen. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. So here, here what we have, da, 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 last five updated releases. Let me show my screen. So that's the world. You can see what I'm talking about. Yeah. So this, this is, this will be a dashboard. Like, yeah. Yeah, and then this is like total code coverage group, and then we want to yeah, show. Yeah, and that's definitely what we're working on right now into making, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, better. So it will be part of, I guess that it will be part of this. Yeah. Can you, can you send, link me to the issue? I'm also gonna yes, yes, I'll find it. Awesome. Uh, All right, well, I feel like this was super insightful. It was really nice for me also to see some of the uh, parts I wasn't aware that are happening. And hey, I just want to make sure, because I think every one of you commented that it looks like I'm not doing enough. Let's this not be our worry during these presentations. I know how every one of you is busy right now. So yeah, how, uh, it, let's put it this way. Let's not measure the busyness in the number of issues we present, because this is not really colorated to the busyness. So, yeah, let's not be uh, worried about that part. Uh, thanks a lot, everyone, for sharing this. Um, I love that uh, it allowed us, this conversation allowed us to already identify some dependencies. Um, I'm gonna be working on the proposal for the um, format for the session, so it's a bit more helpful to us. And uh, yeah, and after we have a few of those, uh, of course, let's run a retro to see if those are useful, what could we improve. Etc. But thanks a lot, everyone, for participating. I think this was uh, great. Thank you, folks. See you later. Bye. 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 Bye.